South Carolina is known as one of the most patriotic states in the nation and friendly to the military. Today, it did something for veterans that's decades overdue. 7 News Capitol reporter Robert Kittle was there. He shows you what happened. Phil Harris of Honeyapath came to a veterans rally at the State House to support his friends and fellow Vietnam vets. They're pushing for veterans' benefits they were promised. But the rally was also something they never got. Thank you and welcome home. I don't know if I can even put it in words, but uh, you know, I think it's like the country still feels a little bit guilty about what happened to us. And we went and did our job, but we came back and we were treated like crap. Simple as that. The rally was to push for things like a bill now in the state Senate to exempt all military retirement pay from state taxes. They also want to restore and increase funding for the State Division of Veterans Affairs and county offices. Another goal is to expand services for low-income and homeless veterans. But the main focus was to give Vietnam vets that homecoming they never got. It's a pain they remember too well. When I came back from Vietnam, the stories they tell you about taking the uniforms off at the airport was true. Take their uniforms off because when we stepped off the airplanes and walked out to the civilians, they cursed us, they called us names, they spit on us, made us feel so ashamed. He says he now feels proud of what they all did over there. All the Vietnam vets were given a special pin, thanking them for their service. For Phil Harris and his friends, it was all worth the trip. I really think a lot of it. It kind of, you know, kind of makes me welcome you home. It does something for you. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. State Representative James Smith of Columbia is also an Army veteran who served in Afghanistan. He told the veterans that lawmakers are close to passing that bill to exempt military retirement pay from state taxes.